Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest stories, trends, and innovations from leaders in global t technology, real estate, and the networks within. I'm Buffy Harakitis of JSA, and joining me today is Alessandro Lombardi. He is the president and chairman of Alia Data Center. Alessandro, welcome. Thank you very much, Buffy. It's a great pleasure to be here in a such wonderful place. Can Data Cloud, uh, everybody in the industry is here. It's a real pleasure. Yes, it's such a pleasure to be here with you today on the beautiful French Riviera uh, for Data Cloud Global Awards 2024 and the conference. So we have so much going on this week. Um, but first, speaking of awards, congratulations on your recent win at the Tech Capital Awards for the Planet Friendly Finance category. That's a big honor. Congratulations. It really was. It's important for a company like us from Latin America to be awarded at a global level for our sustainability and green finance efforts. That was a prize given to us mainly because we are based in Brazil. Brazil is the future of data centers because if you look at the energy matrix there, it's 90% sustainable. It can bring to the market green energy available with a, a efficient grid. So our efforts uh, to be recognized at a global level, it's a way of seeing a brighter future for sustainable data centers. Yeah, well, congratulations on that. It's definitely no small feat uh, for sure to take home that big award. And you talked a little bit about Brazil and you have the largest geographical coverage in Brazil, and you continue to expand your infrastructure uh, to meet so many critical growing demands. And what makes Alia stand out amongst the competition there? Alia Digital, uh, um, it was uh, um, designed to attend uh, not only tier one markets in Brazil, but also the tier two markets. You see now there is many discussion on this conference as well, about how tier two market, especially with AI, with inference, are becoming more critical for our right. digital infrastructure. So what, what we are doing, we were pioneering in doing that in Brazil, was to start developing, constructing a critical infrastructure beyond the Sao Paulo. So we have a critical capacity in Rio de Janeiro, in Curitiba, in Brasilia, which is the capital city, or in southern Brazil, in Porto Alegre. So basically, that is our large differential. And um, I would say that um, as opposed to other larger hyperscaler uh, companies, we have um, uh, tens of megawatts ready to the market. So for sure, for us uh, being a kind of different kind of company with many geographical locations within uh, Brazil, being ready to the market. So if you ask for us in Rio de Janeiro, in Sao Paulo, in Brasilia, we have 10 or 15 megawatts ready to deploy. And um, of course, Having a financial partner such as uh, Goldman Sachs help, helps out a lot Definitely because helps. our clients, they don't need to make too many questions on our financial ability to deliver and plan projects. Yeah, definitely. And, and switching to another critical topic in our industry, uh, gender equality. It's so important. And I know that Aliyah is doing so many wonderful things to help close that gap. Why don't you tell us a little bit more about how you're fostering inclusion within your company? That's very important to me to us. We know that uh, if we succeed in bringing women leadership uh, in Aliyah at any level, we're going to be successful in the market. We know there is, there is many statistics about that. And uh, of course, the workplace is also better. Uh, we tend, like, men-led companies tend to be really hierarchic. There's not so much discussion, not so much. Uh, so it's very important to us. What we have done last year was to issue the first uh, green bond linked to women uh, equality. So we need to have, uh, we committed with the financial market to have uh, at least 40% of women in leadership which um, is a, a true commitment. If we don't achieve that, um, we're going to pay more interest. So it is a true commitment. And basically what we have today is about 40% of women within the company. But then we looked at more in detail about that. You see that those women, they're not in leader. So they are maybe 
stay in the analyst or in the associate level. Okay. But we want them to become manager and to lead the company. So that is uh, how we are dealing with this. Not only hire women, but let Promote them women. to uh, yeah. grow to the leadership. Amazing. That's phenomenal. Yeah, it is a different yeah. theater. It is. It is. And it's definitely needed in our industry because For sure. uh, typically the data center industry, infrastructure industry has been known to be so predominantly male. So it's amazing to hear all the phenomenal things that you're doing and the commitment that you're giving to foster more inclusion uh, within your company. So thank you mm. for that. Yeah, absolutely. Is there anything else that you wanted to add, Alessandro, today? Yes, I think um, that uh, being in France, in Europe, um, sustainability and data center, greener data, all the efforts that we're doing down in Brazil, in LATAM, to make people think about uh, a greener industry, is uh, really what I'm, I'm seeing, I'm listening from the market, from the great professionals that are here, and yes. hopefully that's going to be our future. It has to be our future. It has to. Or there will be no future, right? Exactly. Yeah, Alessandro, such a pleasure to have you again here on JSA TV, live from Data Cloud Global Congress 2024. To our viewers tuning in from home, stay curious, stay connected, and happy networking. Thank you so much.